In declaring her intention to run for mayor of Baltimore, Sheila Dixon said in an interview yesterday she's gotten plenty of encouragement from the public. If I take a poll of five to ten people who stop me on the street every day, nine of them either gives me a heads up, a thumbs up, or say, we need you back, and I don't even know these people. But a thumbs up sign and signing a check for Dixon are different things. Can we talk to you about politics? No. Dixon has spent the last five years on the political sideline, serving out the terms of her probation. In 2009, a jury found Dixon guilty of embezzling gift cards and tending to the poor. A plea deal to an additional charge of perjury a month later, in 2010, required her to resign her job as mayor and stay out of politics while on probation. Now she's free to run, but her campaign account has a lot of catching up to do. As of January, the last reporting deadline, Dixon had just shy of $78,000 in the bank. Incumbent Stephanie Rawlings Blake's account was more than $365,000, more than four times greater. Rawlings Blake far outraised her opponents in 2011, the last mayoral race, allowing her to spend more than $1.9 million that year, nearly double her closest rivals combined. In total, candidates in 2011 spent more than $3 million in the mayor's race. 2016 will likely cost more with a unique battle involving two women who have each held the job. Sheila Dixon has been able to support to attract political support, support while under a cloud. In 2009, she was able to raise more than $230,000 in political contributions while under indictment and on trial. Reporting live tonight from City Hall, I'm Jane Miller, WBAL-TV 11 News.